along. I've moved you, I didn't introduce myself earlier, so you can my name is Stuart. Uh, I am going to do very little today, and however, I am going to introduce something to you today. Because I'm a youth worker, I absolutely love post-it notes. Okay, and flip charts. Uh, for some reason, it's ingrained in me as a youth worker to always use flip charts and post-it notes. However, there is a reason for using these flip charts and post-it notes that are up there. There's two questions that we want to ask throughout the day, and it's concurrent through today and today's proceedings. And there's two questions that we have uh, that are on the board, and you can answer it accurately whenever you want. Is what is uh, a greater Manchester identity? And the second question is how can young people hold the mayor to account in the future? So have a think. <laughs> We are taking your ideas. Uh, yeah. I, I am going to pass over to Ipul on to kick off the initiative themselves. Can we have a round of applause for them, please? consulting young people, what do young people want, and you do all this stuff and then it goes kind of nowhere. I think a couple of nods there, I think you know what I, what I mean when I, when I say that. Um, as I start out on this bit to be Great Manchester's first mayor, I'm just not doing that. I am going to put young people at the heart of my mayoralty should I win. And I want plans that will put that uh, into practice from the start, from the very, very beginning. So really, this is an incredible chance that none of us will get again. And I know people use um, statements like that in politics, everything's the biggest thing ever. But genuinely, for us here in Greater Manchester, this is a kind of once in a generation and a lifetime opportunity. For the very first time ever, Westminster is saying, right, over to you. Here are some powers, here is a budget. You run things in the way that you want to. We, we won't get this uh, moment ever again. And it's absolutely crucial, really crucial, that we make the most of it, that we grab it with both hands. And we show the rest of the country, when we think about what, what is a great Manchester identity, we show them all what we're all about, and what, what we don't like, um, and what we're not putting up with anymore. A second class public transport system, why should we put up with that anymore here? But also, why should we put up with a world where young people are made the target for cuts? 
You know, if there's, there's cuts coming straight to young people. That's what's been going on in Westminster in the last few years. I want to send the opposite message and say, no, how do you build a strong society if you, if you take hope off young people? You've got to go the opposite, uh, the opposite way. And to be honest, this kind of moment comes, you know, you might think, oh, we've had enough of politics with what's going on in the world uh, right now. We don't want more politics. But actually, in a strange way, this is actually our chance to, to answer some of that stuff that's going on uh, in the world. You know, we are, you are living through, you might think politics is always like what you're seeing happening here with the aftermath of the referendum and what's happening with, uh, with Trump uh, in, uh, in America. But I can assure you, this is, not normal, uh, this is not normal politics and these are not normal times. We're living through a political earthquake uh, right now. Um, you know, there's major change is going on here. Um, and amidst all of that chaos, we've got a chance here for, for us to say, well, actually, this stuff is going on in the world. Let's get back to where we want to focus on Greater Manchester, and let's make sense of what we want to do here. And by doing that, maybe give a message of hope to other people elsewhere who are, who are going through this massive, uh, massive change that we're seeing uh, in, in politics. So it is an incredible opportunity. And I've said at all of the events that I've done um, over the last few weeks that I want a manifesto, I want to stand on a manifesto in May that genuinely has been written by the people of Greater Manchester. I, I want it to be a manifesto, not of the old kind, that's just basically dropped on people. You know, we get to election time, parties drop out their proposals and people are meant to go and uh, go to the polls to, to, um, to vote for them. I want to 